and we're looking at AML3D Limited, ASX AL3, currently trading at 22 cents. Uh, large scale metal 3D printing. Now I just ordered a $70 3D printer off AliExpress for my daughter because she wants to print a tiny boat. So I'm pretty much an expert in the 3D printing space now. Um, Felicity, uh, AML 3D, I suspect they're operating on a slightly larger scale than my daughter's tiny boat. Yeah, just just a little bit. <laughs> Your daughter's tiny boat. Um, <laughs> this is a micro cap. 81 yep. mil. It's actually had a really strong run over the last two weeks. Even when you asked me to come on earlier last week, mm. it was only trading at around 14 cents. So it's it's up. Oh, some, right. And then I think it's up another 16% today. My entry was five cents here. Um, yeah, but I was buying up until around 10 cents. So I think if there's any sell off, I'll buy some more. Um, but I have really high conviction in this company. It's, yep. I think, yeah, maybe just dollar cost average in because it's got a, a big, huge momentum. But I guess with drone shield, right? Same thing. You could say, Hey, it's overpriced at a dollar fifty and then it went over two dollars. So it's hard with these companies. Um, you know, when they get a little bit of momentum. But really what I like about it is they've developed a technology to 3D print complex industrial parts for the defence, oil and gas and aerospace industries. Now, industries where they have highly specific machine parts are often needed urgently and not readily available. So they've got a system called Archimy, which can be installed and used on site to 3D print required parts near where they're based on a 3D computer model using various metals, steel or alloys. No waiting, yeah, no waiting for shipping and they can do it on site. They derive revenue in two ways. So the industrial scale 3D metal printing, so the parts, and the on-demand 3D printing systems with ongoing software revenue and maintenance. They put a lot of money into this technology, $30 million with about eight million in the bank. So a little bit more than the $70 3D printer that you bought. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, well, we'll see who comes up with the best the best tiny boat. All right, let's, let's <laughs> challenge I'm, accepted. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Now, they've got really good blue chip customers like yeah, the yeah. US Navy, Austral, Chevron, Exxon, base <laughs> systems in Boeing. Um yeah. Revenues across calendar year 23 and 24 to date is 14.9 million, um, primarily to the US Department of Defence and its supply chain partners. Also has South Australian government um, support. So recently had a government grant for 1.12 million. Expansion in the US makes a lot of sense. They're kind of pivoted that way. Yeah. So because of that, revenue is up over 10 times really in the last 12 months. They've yeah. got a really good distribution partner in the US, Philips. They can really sell. Um, and I think the most recent announcement was a $1.1 million sale with the US Navy supplier. So I really expect a lot more announcements to come for AL3. Um, watch out for more printing systems sold, more reoccurring yeah. software revenues attached to the systems and the US expansion accelerating. I think if they can continue to grow revenue, this micro cap could be a small cap in no time. The market that they're addressing in 2022 was valued at 6.3 billion US yeah. and is actually projected to expand at a CAGR of 23.2% to 2030. Oh, so this CAGR, sorry, just for the uninitiated like myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like the compound annual growth rate. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. <laughs> just for people out there who might be listening that don't know what that is. And they're like, what is um, that? A compound <laughs> annual growth rate. So that's good. It's double digits. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Good. Sure. High conviction on this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's had a lot of momentum in the last two weeks, but yeah. to be honest, it's very small still. <laughs> I will say this about investing. Everything you do learn is cumulative. What I learned at 20 is useful.